Hello there YouTube, TKE here, and it's time for some no-nonsense reviewing action. With plenty of nonsense. Yeah. Um, so, I went into the Annapolis Mall today, which is in Annapolis, so it was quite a drive, and, um... Excuse me. And my brother bought a bunch of crap. Because, yeah. And it's time to review it. Now, we all know that McFarlane is now making this new line of Halo action figures, which are pretty popular, but... There's one that, uh, uh, that they've made that's like the Mondo action figure. And my brother bought it, and he's going to let me talk about it on YouTube. Behold, the Mega Mondo Super Size Master Chief. Wow! Okay, so um, as you can see here, it's a big-ass Spartan that with all these articulated pieces and stuff like that. And you can articulate his hand and make him give the middle finger, sort of. Yeah. And uh, on the back, it says, you got your picture here, it says Giant Size, Master Chief. Um, so he's got a big old gun, and is all poseable and stuff, and it shows you how many of these big things they've made. They've made Master Chief, uh, Human Flood, War Chieftain, I believe it, War Chieftain, I think those are those big, uh, uh, um, what are those gorilla things called? Well, you know, those big gorilla things with the, the head pieces. The Jackal Major Elite. Ooh, Elite. That'd be awesome. And then Spartans in, like, eight different freaking colors. Um, let's see. And then to see all of McFarlane Toys action figures, visit Spawn.com. But don't actually go to visit Spawn.com. I don't know. There's no real reason why you shouldn't. Um, uh, let's see. 26 moving parts includes assault rifle and grenade. A real working assault rifle? Uh, no, that's not true. Um, okay, so once again, he's packaged quite handsomely, although I assume that this is not going to be any easy task to get him open. It was probably the longest amount of time that I've ever spent trying to get something out of a box on YouTube. So as you can see, he has a highly detailed original Halo 1 slash Halo 3 that was in Halo 2 Assault Rifle. Um, looks pretty cool, you guys. It's not hyper detailed, though, because it's like it's missing the counter at the back. I guess it's not really the, the point of it, though. I mean, like, it's not, it's not as detailed as those replicas that they made that are, like, made out of steel and, like, sit on your desk on a little thingy. Um... The grenade is underneath this little plastic bit that I can't seem to get out. But Master Chief has come free. I guess the grenades aren't really that important at this time. I can show you the grenade. It's a little hunk of plastic. What do you expect? Okay. And damn, you get Master Chief, who is sexy. He always comes out of the box looking like he's going to do the thriller. I swear to God. Why is it they always shape him like this? And he's like, you know... Beat it! Just beat it! Girl, what wants to beat it? Okay, um... Yeah, so all of his parts are completely articulatable. Um, I never understood why his foot could do this on all of the uh, action figures. I, you know, this is basically just a giant version of the other uh, ones that I've uh, even done some clay animation with. There we go. I could do some Mondo clay animation with this. Uh, his parts are kind of stiff, but it'll probably loosen up. This is a definite collector's item for all Halo fans. And yes, I am destroyer of uh, value by ripping open the packaging. I hate packaging. I mean, I, I like packaging, but I hate having to keep things in the packaging. So, Chief never really wants to stand up. You know, for a guy who's supposed to weigh one ton in his suit, he doesn't like to stand up straight. Putting the gun in his hand will not be easy. This hand is not very articulate. I assume that one of these hands is meant to hold the end of the rifle. Wait. This maketh not a lick of sense. Okay, wait. Holding it. Just gonna put it on his back. Here you go. Now it's Master Chief. I have it on backwards.
Okay, ready? Now Master Chief is going to do the show. <clears throat> All the humans come in. This is Master Chief. I am Master Chief, and I am the chief of being master. Are they coming over there? No, no, no. Are coming over there? Oh, okay, no. I didn't have as much caffeine before I did this one, but... You know, I could clay animate this guy, but I might do that later. I actually have a clay animation I haven't even published. I'm probably going to put it up on holycrapbatman.com. So, holycrapbatman.com. Anyway, um... Yeah, it's definitely cool to have a big Master Chief. Um, sort of. Maybe not as cool as I originally suspected. If you make a Master Chief, you could take his hat off so that you can see what he looks like on the inside. I think there's concept art floating out around there of what he looks like without the mask, but I don't know. If that's like considered canon or not, I you know I mean I don't know. Do you want me to do thriller now? No. I don't know why that's been going through my head ever since I watched that Halloween special by FC Movies. You should go watch it. That's cool. He does a lot of special effects in that. Wish I had a better editing thingy computer program, but I don't. So we have to stick with low budget animation that goes like this. That's kind of. Annoying, it's kind of snapping. I don't, I think that's natural, yeah. But it doesn't do that in his arms. And his arms are a little bit harder to move. Yeah, so, you know, Master Chief, really hard to make stand up. But kind of cool at the same time. Wait, wait, oh, oh, oh. Well, we gotta do it once before the end of this review. Come on. Stand up, Chief. Stand tall. Fight against the Covenant. Finish the fight. There we go. And it kind of looks like he's throwing down. With the robot. 